Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Serial Experiments Lane episode number 5. Alright, uh, the previous episode. Um, Again, like, you know, like I, I really <laughs> have nothing to talk about because the episodes are kind of confusing in a lot of ways and I think like it's still kind of going in on the confusion factor. A few things uh, kind of that uh, kind of a few things made sense in the previous episode. One thing is that I actually realized that the dad somehow like you know changed the way of talking with Lane as soon as he saw the psyche. You know like after you know the, the dad saw that I realized in the previous episode that from that moment like before that he was so excited that his daughter was doing like, you know the technology and cult stuff and all those things but after like you know the previous day uh, previous uh, episode in episode 3 I think when uh, Lane showed his her dad the psyche her dad completely shut down and never talked with her and then like in the previous episode he comes you know, in episode 4 he comes and kind of talks to have a conversation with Lane but also kind of like you know kind of warns her says that like you know like keep an eye out that you don't mix reality with this whole thing and all that stuff and Lane herself has completely changed weird stuff are ha happening at the same time the men like you know in, in the uh, suits they came and were like spying on her and stuff like that she, she did some kind of a thing some kind of weird I don't know some kind of weird thing came out and they like you know their their glasses broke and they ran away like you know all these kind of things are happening which are kind of uh still confusing and I think like this will kind of continue unless and until the end where we'll probably get to get our answers like actually what is happening but yeah let's like let's start this episode this is episode number five of steel experiments lane so yeah so I'll be putting in the subtitles and the timer here, sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. Okay, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. And obviously we can like you know we can see that lane's personality has undergone a very big change like on the basically like two lanes now like one lane which was which we knew from the beginning who was kind of you know always kept to herself kept quiet never expressed much showed her emotions but now she is like you know actively participating in conversations and i don't know like, you know, she's changed completely. Which I also think is a reason of, like, you know, the reason behind it, which I also think is uh, the psyche. And, you know, like, her actually getting into the wired. That's also another reason, I think. I don't know. Let's see. Okay. Ah, it starts again. Every episode it starts in this scene. You know the this another weird thing. Uh, th this voice, uh, this thing. Here it is speaking to you. Distortion. Mankind is a creature that no. Yeah. Oh. 
Ok What? Whoa. Oh God. Oh, is, is he talking about the wire? Whoa! Yeah, he's talking about the wired. What? Is this the sister? Yeah. Who the hell is this? Hmm. God. So that's where she goes, like, you know? Oh my god. This was this? Kagome Kagome. Oh my god. It gives this this sound gives me PTSD from Chaos Head and oh my god. <sighs> I'll talk about that later on after in the discussion portion. Um Whoa! What the? What? What's happening? Oh, is this like her past or something? Oh my god, her face! It's creeping me out! Whoa. Is that the reason why she has so many dolls? Yeah, because it's basically her own, like, you know, part that's kind of talking with herself. So it won't be able to tell her about something that she doesn't know. It's first a prophecy. Event first come. God? No. Incorrect info. Boy. Um, what? What's that? Issue paper? What is that? Yeah. Oh, it's... Um, who the hell are you, kid? What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. God. 
weird kid. Oh, you have the tissue paper. Whoa, the other side is overcurrent. Whoa. Does, does every tissue paper that he was giving out has, has this written or something? What? Oh no! Is this Ray? Oh my god. Um, hello, that's your sister there. What? What? Is she hallucinating or something? I think so. Oh no. Um promise is being fulfilled. made to connect no answer wow Mm. What? What's happening? Oh my god! She, she doesn't even... Yeah, she, she has no recollection. The other personality or... Very deliberate act. Oh, yeah. wait a minute. Wait, did everybody see that? No. Oh my god, I'm confused. Oh. Fulfill the prophecy. Knights. Oh, again. The one who made the... Yeah. Hmm. Secret society. <laughs> um. Yeah. Oh God.
What? What's that? The mom. Oh my god. Upper layer of the real world. Physical. Oh my god. Of information that flows to the wire. Same thing that the, the girl who's committed suicide in the first episode was telling. Oh, wow. Wait, it's, it's really weird. The, the family is like uh, like they, they, they all are like looks like some kind of yeah Oh no. What more? What? Whoa! Whoa, 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 what's happening? Oh my god, she's getting affected by. Whoa, what is that? Whoa. She's also getting affected now. Like, I don't know what is happening with all of them like in the previous episode it was lane who was actually kind of hallucinating like and then like today this girl uh the sister oh oh my god what now everything started after that message like you know that came for this message, whoa. <laughs> God, what what is even real at this point? Like, you know? <laughs> okay. Oh. oh my god, this is freaky. What's that noise?
Oh God. Oh. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh. Whoa. Oh god, the dad. What's he doing now? Oh, okay. Mill information. Another world was created at that moment. Oh. Oh, okay. Hmm. All right. The person who introduced himself as God in the form of prophecy. Oh. Damn. Yeah, she's freaking out. Oh boy. Ah. Wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the? What is even? God. Wow, look at that place now. Completely changed it. Who is it today? Okay, oh boy. Oh. <sighs> I'm still confused, but one thing I could kind of understand is like something is happening which is I don't know like Separating the characters in a way just like the sister we saw He comes back to her house and sees that there's a person living there and No one's able to see her so as Like you know even the dad said or something like you know that and Lane was always asking are you my dad? Are you my mom? And I always said that I felt really weird vibes coming from the dad and the mom. So it seems as if 
you know the same thing happened to the sister in this episode as well where we see the sister is just like you know having the normal meal and kind of acting robotically but then we actually see that there's another person who's who's similar to the sister but who has all the emotions and she's freaking out so so i'm my guess is something like this as they said like the body is just like the vessel there's like a completely other world so is this what's happening that they are getting separated you know their body and the mind something like that like if they're separated obviously the body will lose all the emotions and continue to do their regular routine and i don't know hopefully we get some answers in the future episodes you know and uh, i think it's something like that most probably like it's basically like you know uh, i think there's something wh what was it called like uh, um mind and body need and something like that i cannot remember uh th th there's a specific term which kind of refers to it like you know the mind and the body like cannot remember at all there was a specific term which kind of and i can't even find it uh which kind of refers to that you know like the, the consciousness as a whole is referred to as something and the body is kind of referred to as another thing like you know like i cannot remember if i remember i'll, I'll talk about it later on but you know like there's a specific terminology for that and uh Anyway, I think that's basically what's happening here. Like, it's getting separated. I don't know how or why, but something like that. And that's why, like, you know, Lane is also kind of getting, you know, um, like, like, her personality and everything is kind of getting different in each episode. And stuff that she's doing, she's not you know, having a recollection of it. Like, in, in school, when she goes and they were like, oh, Lane, did you do it? Lane was like, what? What, what are you talking about? And... <clears throat> And back in her, in her house, she's completely changed and she like goes into her room and says that who is it today or something like that. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> and <laughs> the discussion portion of this anime, I really am unable to say much stuff because I myself am really confused. And I think this is like the first anime that made me, still kept me in confusion even in the fifth episode. This is the fifth episode and I'm still confused. Like, you know, like, <laughs> like, I have a little, what can I say? Like, you know, like, I can kind of think of some theories as to what's happening. But those are still kind of like, you know, uh, mudded. Uh, no, what do you call it? Um, still kind of, uh, what do you call it? Hazy. I cannot properly even make something up and think like, okay, this is probably what's happening because lack of information they're not giving us any information you know it's basically like you know what's happening we're seeing and nothing else they're showing us and uh, yeah and you know everything's like going back and forth back and forth this episode was mainly focused on her sister where her sister uh, just a sec where her sister actually mm, uh starts hallucinating in a way i think and everything started from that uh paper tissue paper where the tissue paper it was written like the fulfill the prophecy whatever that was and she looked at it and after that she started this whole thing where she first sees the lane's picture on the tv uh, the screen the digital screen and then she gets transported from one place to another and then another she then suddenly she sees that she's in the middle of the road and then she sees that she's on in a fast food joint uh, and then she's back to the toilet and there's like written with blood and stuff like you know fulfill the prophecy and all and when she comes back home she sees that there's actually another person <laughs> in the house who is kind of who looks like him and i'm not uh, looks looks like her and i'm not sure what that was but probably as i said as i suspect it's probably something that is related to his body and his mind is something somewhere else like all that stuff 
uh, yeah, we have to wait for more answer question, uh, clues to the answers. And another thing I want to say here. Um, just a second. Uh, now, there's a thing here. Um, I'm trying to find that uh, the Kagome Kagome the the thing that plays uh, when in the uh, traffic signal Oh, uh, where is it? I'm not sure but uh, this this is a big thing uh, Now you guys remember that tune? Uh, that's that's called uh, just a sec. Let me just check out one thing Yeah, okay, uh, yeah, I checked it out. Uh, I was kind of my uh, memory was kind of a little bit hazy uh, the the song the tune that was playing in the traffic signal that uh, that, uh, do, 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 that that thing um, it's I said, I said, like you know, it kind of gives gives some weird vibes, and I am very much familiar with that because if you have seen Chaos Head, I kind of mentioned Chaos Head before when in the, I think in the first episode when I checked this out, and I kind of said that this anime really reminds me of Chaos Head, and um, you know, Chaos Head, Chaos Child, and the Science Series, the uh, you know, all that like you know, all the uh, scientific adventure series, I think they're they're called uh, science adventure series. You no, know, now. <laughs> There is a tune like this is going into spoilish territory, so I won't say much. But a tune like that is like in Chaos Head and Chaos Child as well. And whenever that tune plays, something bad happens. And like if you like, you can go and check out on YouTube as well. Like there's a huge Kagome Kagome is actually it, the, the song that was playing. You know, it's actually called Kagome Kagome, and it's actually kind of like a children's song, Japanese children's song where like you know it, it's kind of like a uh, ringa ringa roses i think in a way but it's kind of a little bit different there is like uh it's a game where there's like a demon or ogre one of the child is the ogre and who who is like who, who's kind of like the it as in the game of tag and she, the person sits blindfolded huh, and all the others join hands and walk circles around the demon or the oni who is in the middle and chants the song when the song stops, the only tries to name the person standing directly behind them, and like you know, like check it. Like if you're interested, go check it out on YouTube. It has a very interesting lyrics and a very interesting tune. It's very creepy, you know, like the way it plays and everything. My like, damn, and like you know, like when I played uh, the visual novel of Chaos Head and uh, chaos child oh my god that that tune was so creepy uh, whenever like you know it was playing and like weird stuff were happening uh, god I, I, I remember those times <laughs> oh my god it, it, it was great like you know like and <laughs> like it reminded me of that in this uh, episode the whole song and uh, kagome's kagome song and uh, <laughs> yeah and as I said, like, you know, this anime still reminds me of Chaos Head. Uh, like, you know, full of confusion. Chaos Head was also full of confusion in the beginning. But as time went on, it clarified all of the things, what was happening. And I'm sure it's also something uh, like, you know, this anime song also something like that. It also cleared itself up as time goes on. Because up until now, this is the fifth episode. I really don't know what's happening. The only thing that I can understand here is that um, this is basically uh, like you know like this like this whole this this whole concept of God here, and like you know and as as in this episode they explained the daddy even explained that the the concept of God is the like you know it's like just a concept in the real world but in the wired like something like that might exist. And like you know, and Lane kind of says that oh, I talked with God. Maybe that is really the God of the Wired, you know, like the person who actually talked with Lane here. As I said, the Deuce ex machina or something like that. They are usually call that that person. Um, now, anyways, um, so 
Yeah, like as I was saying, you know, I still have no idea that the only things that I can understand here is basically like there's like some people who are, you know, actually committing suicide and weird stuff is happening. And there's this whole thing, uh, like, you know, mystery surrounding Wired. And like sometimes like, you know, people are actually seeing some someone who acts completely different than the original person. Just like there's like two lanes, you know, as they call the other one, the wild lane and the normal lane. So that is another thing that's happening, which I think is somehow related to this whole uh, body thing that they were explaining, like the body and the mind thing. And uh, like, you know, like, and I, that, I think that's basically the kind of like the reason why we kind of feel as if Lane has a split personality. Maybe it's not split personality. Maybe it's something like this that is happening, you know, and uh, that and a few other things we also kind of like, you know, got to uh, like, you know, kind of understand is that um like, you know the whole thing with the uh, psyche what that is you know the the what else mm. yeah these i think these are the few things that we got to know and uh, like there's there's a person who is oh the, the whole mystery surrounding the knights that's also another thing and uh, yeah I, I i'm really not able to actually say like what even i understand like like there's still confusion like even within the things that we understand in this like, you know up until this episode the confusion in those, those things as well like i can kind of understand that there's a thing that's going on between the body and the mind as they were saying but there's still confusion within that as well like i'm really unable to pinpoint what's happening and the whole thing with the the you know like lane kind of changing personality there's confusion in that as well even though i can kind of guess what's happening so <laughs> it's kind of funny in a way because this like this is really the, a way a psychological anime should be done i think this is a psychological anime it falls under psychological anime i think you know because it, it should make you be wilder like this you know like <laughs> actually question yourself that like like am I, am I like you know like question your own self that is this really what's happening or am i getting weirder and weirder as i'm watching this show <laughs> like you know like um like it, it should not it, it should give you answers but at the same time the answers should be like this shrouded in mystery and um, like i don't know <laughs> and if 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 I'm, I'm not sure if this anime really explains and answers each and every question by the end of it you know i think it will be amazing because it will be great seeing everything click and like you know fall on in place and actually us realizing that oh this was what was happening and we will actually rec you know, recollect the first or the second episodes and we'll be like oh like so in that episode that happened because of this reason and that will be kind of interesting if it really something like this happens and i'm not sure how this is going to end whether they're going to answer our questions or not whether we'll be you know in the end by the end of it we'll know everything what's going on or something or it will be kind of like an uh like, you know open-ended way where it will be like left to our interpretation or something i'm not sure how this is going to end but either way like, you know i'm looking forward to it like how are like you know what's even going to happen what weird stuff are going to happen after this <laughs> oh boy it's like a such a <laughs> okay um yeah okay is there anything else I don't think there's anything, anything else we can. Oh, one thing we kind of under, like, you know, saw in this episode is Lane used to talk with his, with her dolls or something like that means. You know, like, the thing that the doll said is interesting. It said that, like, you know, oh, you know everything. Like, you know, there's nothing I can say that you won't be able to know. That's basically because obviously there's, the doll is not talking to her. There's nothing like that. It's basically Lane was basically, like, you know, what do you call it? Like, it was basically her, you know? she was basically i don't know like it was like her what do you call it mental thing where she was imagining the doll talking with her whereas it was basically her own self and she was just thinking that yeah the dog is doll is talking to me and obviously like something that lane herself does not know the doll won't be able to tell because there's that's not a single like, you know individual identity it's basically lane imagining the doll talking so the only thing that the doll will be able to tell Lane is something that Lane herself knows. No, otherwise, it's impossible. So, like, you know, like, it's kind of like that. I don't know. Like, th again, these are like all guesses that I'm making. 
based on the episode and based on my understanding who knows maybe i'm wrong maybe this is somehow related to the wired something is happening maybe there really is someone who is kind of like you know saying these kind of stuff to lane and uh, who knows <laughs> so yeah and now like you know I, I remember like in the previous episode i kind of said that oh the the sister is the only one who's kind of normal in this family <laughs> this episode completely made her just like her family members like you know she, she's also going crazy now <laughs> and uh, oh my god i don't know oh boy <laughs> Yeah, it's like really a weird and unique show that like, you know, I, I really was not expecting this. I knew this was psychological type of an anime with like, you know, mystery, mystery elements, but not to this extent. I'm, I'm basically in the dark even now. So <laughs> it'll be kind of interesting to see how everything unravels and yeah. Uh. <laughs> so yeah, guys, that was it. So thank you guys for watching. This was my reaction to Serial Experiments Lane episode number five. So if you guys enjoyed my reaction, be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to this channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to let me know. I'll check them out. So yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week with another episode of Serial Experiments Lane. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.